Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. Here in this video, I am going to discuss about the microstates and calculation of term symbols for P3 configuration. Here, this P3 configuration has three equivalent electrons. So, what important steps we need to consider while we are calculating the term symbol for this P3 or equivalent electrons? So, let's start with the video. Here I am having this configuration P3. So first of all, I am just going to calculate the number of micros. And the formula to calculate the number of microstates is equal to factorial N divided by factorial E divided by factorial H. Here N is the number of maximum occupancy which an orbital can accommodate. So here we are having p orbital. So p orbital can accommodate maximum of 6 electrons. So n is equal to 6. And how many electrons are present here? So here 3 electrons are present. And here h is number of holes means how many vacancies are left there. So that is h is equal to n minus e is equal to 3. 6 minus 3. So on putting all these values in this formula, we are having factorial 6 divided by factorial 3 and factorial 3 again. So here on solving this equation, so we are having 20. This P3 configuration has 20 microstates. Here some of the students had reported that somewhere you are calculating the ML and MS and somewhere you are calculating only by adding their L1 plus L2 and S1 plus S2. So what is that? So here I'll just bring to your notice or this difference you must understand when we are having the equivalent electrons there are some restrictions. So for this equivalent electrons we have to write all the microstates possible for that particular configuration. Whereas if we are having non-equivalent electrons then there is no need to write these microstates because those non-equivalent electron has different values of their n that is principal quantum number and l that is azimuthal quantum number. But here these p3 electrons, these three equivalent electron has same number of principal quantum number as well as azimuthal quantum number. So for equivalent electrons we need to write the microstates which are possible here. So here to write these 20 microstates, I have here written the possible orientations for one electron. Out of these three, for one electron, I have written over here. Now, from this one electron orientations, we are calculating for all three electrons and we will write these 20 microstates. I just designate this set of information that is, spin is up and it's ML value is 1, I have designated this as A and similarly rest of the information I have designated by B, C, D, E and F. So this is nothing but actually this is the replica of this and this electron occupies this position here. Right? So you can understand it that way because that is the actual way. Here this is written just for the simplification. So these are the six possible states which one electron can occupy. So here I will choose this A and this B at one time for two electrons I fixed here. The third electron can occupy either in the upward direction or in the downward direction in this manner. So here I have written all 20 microstates for three electrons. So A and B is fixed for this first set and we are just adding C or we are adding on the right hand side which is left. So A, B, C or A, B, D here I have written A, B, E or A, B, F. So these four set of orientations for three electrons are possible at a time if we fix this A and B. Similarly, if I fix this C electron and we will move with other electrons. So A, C and D because A, B, C will covered already. So don't move on your left side. You always move on your right hand side. So A, C is fixed now and we will move on the right hand side. A, C, D, A, C, E, 
A C F. Here you can see, right? Similarly, and we now fix our D. We are not moving to our left. We are just moving to our right hand side. So A D E. Here you can see, and A D F, right? Similarly, we now fix A and E, and we are moving to our right hand side. So A E and F. So this is the simplest way in which you can write down your microstates. Now what next? This A is fixed for all these 10 configurations, right? We now don't have any further choice for this A. Now we cut down this A and we will move to the next B and C. So here in this case, we now fix B and C and we move towards our right hand side. So here B, C and D in the next B, C, E, B, C, F. In this manner, we have written all these 20 micro. Now coming to the ML and MS values for these 20 micro states. So I have written all the ML and MS values for these 20 micro states. So how this A, B, C, A, B, D, I have written over here. So I will select one example of A, B, C. How we have calculated this A, B, C. So this can be calculated by adding the ML values of all these three electrons. So A, B, C have ML values 1, B has 0, C has minus 1. So add all three for this microstate, right? So what you will get plus 1 minus 1 will give you 0. And here we are having 0. So altogether for this A, B, C set, we are having ML value 0. Here I have highlighted this. Right. Now what about the MS? So for all three, these are up spins. So here we are having plus 1 by 2, plus 1 by 2, plus 1 by 2. All three are plus 1 by 2. So we are having plus 3 by 2. So I have written over here plus 3 by 2. One more set I have chosen for calculation. This is my B, C and D set. So this B, C and D set you can calculate from here. So for this ML value is 0, for C ML value is minus 1 and for D ML value is plus 1. So all together on adding these we are getting 0 again. I have highlighted this over here. Now what about the MS value? So two are up spin, one is downward spin. So this is plus half, plus half and minus half. So minus half will be cancelled out by plus half. So we left with one plus half orientation. So here MS value is plus half for this 11th serial number, right? So in this manner, you can calculate the ML and MS values for all the 20 micro states. Now coming to the next step. So the next step is first to identify the maximum value of ML and corresponding to that, select the maximum value of MS. So here what I have seen the maximum value of ML is 2 and corresponding to that I am having 1 by 2. So here I have select this value. So as I know ML has values plus L to minus L. So 2, 1, 0, minus 1. I explain it further in my next slide. Okay. Minus 1 and minus 2. So here this set corresponds to 1 by 2 spins. If we are having 1 by 2 spins and we know MS has values plus S to minus S also. So if plus half is there then minus half is again there for this set of ML values. So here I have selected all these values here. So this is the ML value for 2, 1 by 2, 1 and for this these are the microstates. For this set, we are having these microstates and we are having these microstates. This many already selected. Now go next, which is the highest value of ML and MS. So here, the next highest value of ML is 1. And corresponding to that, we are having MS value 1 by 2. So I have written this ML and MS values here. So from here, I come to know that ML has values plus L to minus L. So 1, 0, minus 1. Corresponding to this, MS has values plus L. And since we know 
ms has values plus s to minus s also so these many values also repeated for minus s also right so this i will explain in my next upcoming slide in detail so don't get confused over here so this set is taken from here the next set is taken from here, right and the left four values here we are having ml value 0 and ms value plus 3 by 2 so here ml 0 this is not have plus minus values and plus 3 by 2 is the ms value it suggests that ms has values plus s to minus s so plus s is 3 by 2 plus s to minus s we have to move by differing 1 so 3 by 2 minus 1 will give us 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 will give us minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 minus 1 will give us minus 3 by 2 so this is how we reach to plus s to minus s and for ml value for all these values of ms we are having zero value so rest four i have comprises in this third table moving to the writing of term symbol for the given set of microstates so here as I told you earlier, so MS has values plus S2 minus S. So MS has values this and ML has value plus L2 minus L and the maximum value of L is 2. So 2 minus 1 will give us 1, minus 1 gives us 0 and then minus 1 gives us minus 1, minus 1 minus 1 will give us minus 2. So this is the set of ML values. So for all ML values, we are just making a set of ms so plus half will be written along with this ml values you can see over here and similarly for minus half values we are repeating this set again we are just calculating the spin multiplicity so what is a spin multiplicity that is 2s plus 1 so here maximum value of ms will be taken over here so 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 will give us 2 so 2 is the spin multiplicity and now we will take maximum value of ml which is 2 that corresponds to l and corresponding to this l is equal to 2 we are having d states so this d state and this is the multiplicity so we can write the term symbol for this given set of microstates now calculating the j value j is the total angular momentum which has values l plus s to l minus s so here l is 2 and s is 1 by 2 so on adding these two we are getting 5 by 2 so here i have written l minus s which is equal to this l plus s minus 1 is equal to 3 by 2 so no other value exists in between these two values right so this term symbol is written over here in this manner 2d we get from there and this 3 by 2 and 5 by 2 we get from this j value right now coming to the cross checking of our term symbol whether we are correct or not so how we can calculate this we can simply calculate the degeneracy of the term so degeneracy of this term is what so we are having 2L plus 1 into 2S plus 1. So what is the value of L? L is 2. So 2 into 2, 4 plus 1, 5. I have written over here. 2 into S, S is 1 by 2. So 2 cancel out by this 2, 1 plus 1 gives us 5 to the 10. So we have 10 microstate for this term symbol. So do we have? So you can calculate these microstates. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Yes, 10 microstates are there. So this is how one can calculate the term symbol for equivalent electrons. For calculating the term symbol for non-equivalent is different that I will discuss for three electrons in my next video. Right? Now coming to the next table. So this is just a kind of revision for you. So here we have chosen ms is equal to plus s to minus s. So plus s is 1 by 2. Now 1 by 2 minus 1. We will get minus 1 by 2 which is the value of minus s. 
so only two values are possible for this ml and the next is we are having the ml value plus l2 minus l so here maximum value of l is ml is 1 so we are moving from 1 to minus 1 so how we are moving from 1 to minus 1 so 1 minus 1 will gives us 0 0 minus 1 gives us minus 1 so this is how we are moving right now we are making the micro states so for this plus half ms value we are repeating this set so 1 0 minus 1 we are having plus half and for this minus half again we are repeating this ml value so 1 0 minus 1 minus half minus half minus so in this manner we are just calculating the spin multiplicity so how we are calculating the spin multiplicity that is 2s plus 1 so what is the value of s maximum value of s is 1 by 2 so here we are having the multiplicity 2 now corresponding to this plus l value we are having p state right and from this we are just writing the term symbol so p is the state and 2 is its multiplicity and its total angular momentum values as i have calculated in my previous slide so this is 1 by 2 3 by 2 right so this is the term symbol and now we are calculating the degeneracy of the term for this term right so this is again calculated with the formula 2l plus 1 into 2s plus 1 this gives us 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so the next term symbol for p3 configuration now coming to the next table so here we are having ms value maximum is plus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 now coming to the ml values so ml has plus l2 minus l values here only 0 is there so only one zero value is possible for this now we are making the sets of ms and ml here so this is written over there in this table so we are doing it's just a cross checking type right from this ms we are calculating the spin multiplicity so spin multiplicity here ms has values maximum 3 by 2 so we are having four multiplicity right and for this l is equal to 0 we are having s state so corresponding to this l and s we are having the term symbol for s and for this term symbol we can calculate the degeneracy so 2l plus 1 into 2s plus 1 so here l is 0 and s is 3 by 2 so we have 4 degeneracy yes we are having 4 microstates for this term symbol we are correct right now uh, this is the j value so how to calculate j value i have discussed there so these are the term symbols for this p3 or three equivalent electrons in p3 configuration i hope you understand this concept and uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching